Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of the Gorilla Rig from the AutoRig Pro Rig Library Blender add-on. This rig is part of a library of 24 animal rigs which can be bought at Blender Market. It's important to note that the AutoRig Pro Rig Library is specifically built for the AutoRig Pro rigging system. So you need to have bought that add-on for the rig library to work. Each of the 24 rigs comes with a locomotion animation and in the case of this Gorilla, that's this walk cycle. And let me show you that from multiple angles. And just so you know, I've animated this walk cycle on 30 FPS and not on 24 because uh, I wanted the Gorilla rig and its animations to be game engine compatible. So that's why I did that. Cool. So let's get back to the main features of the rig. Uh, first of all, the whole purpose of the rig is to act as a template rig that you can use to uh, rig your own 3D models. So if you have any type of creature model with a similar anatomy to that of a gorilla, uh, uh, so, so any type of uh, ape or monkey, I would say would be, uh, you, you, will, you will be able to rig that model using this template rig. Cool. Um, the rig also comes with this block mesh. Uh, um, and uh, the function of the block mesh is to act as a visual guide for the placement of the bones. Um, so uh, uh, you, you can use it to place the bones uh, of this rig within your own 3D model. Um, but if you have no, no use for it, you can easily delete it. There's no harm in that. It's just something that I thought would make it easier to, uh, again, uh, place the bones of this rig within your own 3D model. Okay, so uh, let's turn the rig back on and have a look at the main controls of this rig. First of all, we have this uh, position controller, which lets you position the rig within your scene. We have this trajectory controller, which lets you animate a trajectory for the rig. We have this uh, root mass controller, which controls both the upper and lower body of the rig. We have this root controller which only controls the lower body so you can use it to animate a hip sway for example we have this spine master controller that lets you animate all the spine bones at once so that's nice and we have this uh, head controller and when i open up the tool tab uh, you can see that the head controller comes with a headlock let me show you what that does so if i select the neck controller and move it around you can see that the orientation of the head follows but if i toggle the headlock like this and i uh, uh, move the neck again you can now see that the orientation of the uh, of the head keeps facing forward so um, cool that's what the headlock does um, now the leg setup by default, it's in IK mode, but you can easily switch that to FK. Uh, here you go, FK. Let's switch back to IK. Um, and have a look at this auto stretch feature. So I turn the auto stretch on, and when I now move the leg beyond its limit, you can see that the leg gets, stretches, uh, uh, gets stretched. So uh, that gives for some nice uh, cartoony animation. Uh, let's turn on the stretch back off again. The tie twist uh, is there to correct any deformation in the tie. Um, knee pinning, well, here we have the knee. And when I move the leg around, you can see that the knee follows. But uh, when I turn on knee pinning, you can now see that the knee stays in place. So that's what knee pinning does. Okay. Uh, some foot controls. Here we have the toe controller, which lets you control all the toe bones at once. So that's nice. We have this foot controller that lets you animate the ankle. And we have this foot roll. And when you, uh, uh, oh, excuse me. And when you uh, move the foot roll up or downwards, you can animate a foot roll. But when you move it side to side, you can also animate some banking movement of the foot so that's cool um, on to the to the arms uh, the arms by default are are also in uh, ik mode as you can see but we can easily also switch those to uh, fk like that let's switch back to ik um, we also have an auto stretch feature for the arms so if i turn it on and i move 
the arm beyond its limit you can see that it stretches out for some cartoony effects so that's cool let's turn auto stretch off again arm twist that's there to correct any deformations in that part of the arm um, elbow padding here's the elbow and if I move the arm right now then the elbow follows but if I pin the elbow then you can see that the elbow stays put when I move the arm. So that's what elbow pinning does. Um, fingers, fingers grasp. That's uh, uh, a logical one. That's this. So that's basically controls the grasping of all the fingers at once. So that's nice. Um, yeah. In all honesty, I think I've covered all the main features of the Gorilla Rig from the other Rig Pro Rig library. Um, if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact me on Blender Market. I'm always happy to help, but um, yeah, thank you for watching.